This is Mahmoud Hassan Meraz. Welcome to another simulation tutorial with ANSYS. Today we are going to solve a beam and frame problem. And today we are going to see this problem. In this problem, uh, if we read the problem, steel framing system provides cost effective solution for low rise building. They have high strength to weight ratio and can be prefabricated and custom designed. Consider the following two story building constructed with structural steel I beam. Determine the deformation and the stress in the frame when a uniform load of 50 kilo newton per meter is applied on the second floor as shown below. So this is a structure of frame which is created by I beam and this beam has a as a model of W356 by 171. So it means the beam depth is 355.6 mm, flange wide is 171.5 mm, and web thickness is 11.5 mm, and flange thickness is 7.3 mm. And you can see beam has this dimension 3 mm, 3 m, 3 m, and 1 m. And the distance in this side is 6 m. And this is 6 meter and 6 meter and here you can see this uniform load of 50 kilonewton per meter those of you don't know the beam depth flange web thickness and flange thickness let me give a demonstration if we see this picture this is the flange white and this portion is flange thickness and the total particle dist distance is depth of the section and this portion is web thickness okay so first open the ANSYS workbench software and from the workbench software in the toolbox select the static structural option and drag it to project symmetric and from that go to engineering data right double click on it and here we can see a material is structural steel and if we see our question the default material was uh, structural steel so we don't need to change the material so close it now now it's time to time for drawing the sketch for drawing the sketch we will go to geometry option from the geometry option property select the line bodies because we are doing one kind of truss problem now right click on right click on the geometry option now open the space claim geometry software as our case is in meter unit so we need to change the unit so select the space claim option and from the option menu you select the unit then change the length to meter and make primary position to 4 and now minor bit spacing to 1 now in your sketch we can see here we will first try to draw this structure first I will draw a 6 meter line in the negative axis then I will draw another 6 meter line in positive axis then I will draw a vertical 3 meter line and a negative vertical 3 meter line and this line will be 4 meter because 3 plus 1 will be 4 meter then I will draw another negative vertical line 3 meter and so on and then I will connect this two point ok going to space claim option now right clicking on it now select the new case plane and select the xy plane now select the pan view and from here select line and place the line to the origin now draw a horizontal line of 6 meter and from that draw another vertical line of 3 meter and here draw another vertical line of 3 meter in the reverse direction now select here and draw a line of 6 meter and select the to select to the origin 
and draw a particle line of 4 meter in the same way in the reverse direction draw a vertical line of 3 meter and same goes to here also now connect the points ok now go to home for a isometric view now in our sketch we can we can see that we need to draw this frame also in the other side and for drawing this frame we can mirror the frame so first of all in here i will draw a plane and this from this front front front, front side this distance from this plane will be 3 unit and then i will mirror the other part so i am selecting here now select the plane option and from the plane option now select the move option now select the plane to move because i will need to move the plane to 3 meter because i will mirror it mirror the sketch to 6 meter for moving that we can see it can move into the x and y direction but we need to move it to z direction so select the 3d mode here and now we have enabled this option and so move this to 3 meter 3 meter and now click the select option now as you can see we had made a line but it has become a surface for removing the surface now right click on it now it is sketch now surface has been removed now we need to mirror this part too in the other side so select the mirror option and select mirror plane select the plane this plane as the mirror plane now select body to be mirrored and now drag and select all the lines we have created and now you can see we have mirrored our line now select the select option and now we can hide the plane because we don't know need so uncheck here okay now in our picture we can see we need to we not now need to connect this line to the other frame for doing this we will use the line option and in the 3d mode we will connect all the lines so i am selecting the line option now select the 3d mode and and before doing that we will use the edit sketch okay 3d mode uh, connect all the point connecting this two point now escape button uh, now connecting this point to this one and also this point to this one you can press escape button to move the line you can see if i hover the line as indication so i am pressing the escape button to re remove this hover line so connecting all the point okay after connecting all the point we can see that uh, our this face also has a surface but we don't need surfaces so i click on it and edit sketch okay now go to home view for a isometric view now in here we can see that we now need to create the beam profile in our picture here we can see that we have an i-shaped beam and this beam has all the dimensions so it's time to create the beam pre profile for creating a beam profile go to prepare option now select profile now select the i beam option and now here you can say we have new tab like uh, beam profile click on here and click the i option now right click on it right click on it and now edit beam profile and we will we will be taken to this new tab and here you can see if we see our, our previous sketch or previous picture this is the flange white this is the flange thickness this is the depth and this is the wave thickness so we will do our step by step so if we see the w1 and w2 in here and match it match it with our 
and it is the flange white so let's see what is our flange white our flange white is 171.5 millimeter so it will be 0 0.1715 meter so i'm placing w1 as a 0 0.1715 meter and also setting the w2 as a 0, 0 0.1 one seven one five meter okay now it's time to see our flange thickness and this flange thickness uh, thickness is 7.3 millimeter so it will be 0 0.0073 meter so our flange thickness is t1 and t2 41 and t2 it will be 0 0.0073 meter and also select the t2 and put the value 0 0.0073 meter now it's time for depth let's see what is our depth in our picture the way the depth is 355.6 millimeters so it will be 0 0.3556 meter so it will be 0 0.3556 meter okay now it's time for the last one the web thickness the 3 3 the web thickness t3 and the wave thickness is 11.5 millimeter so it will be 0 0.0115 meter so wave thickness is 0 0.0113 meter sorry it will be 0 0.115 it will be 0 0.0115 meter okay we have created our beam profile now we need to set this beam profile to our geometry for doing this we first need to go our design tab here now go to structure option and now it's time to select all the line because we need to put this in in our beam profile so in the design tab select the 3d mode select edit sketch okay in the 3d mode you can also select a line by clicking the clicking the first line and now you can shift click the line and all the li line will be selected automatically okay so as all the line has been selected now go to prepare option now select the create option now you can see all of our line has been created created as a beam so we need to now need to move our beam to a new folder because we will doing further other attachment which will be added in the new folder so i am again selecting all the beams so for so so select this select option now select the first beam and now go to last beam and shift select and it will automatically select all the beams now right click on it now move to new component set it to component number one okay now select this component and merge the shear topology okay we have merged our shear topology now it's time to display our beam for doing this go to prepare option again now display now solid beams now we can see the solid beams profile and the from the profile here uh, i am going to go to 3d mode and from the profile here you can see that uh, we have the i shape beam but in here this beam this one two three four five six seven eight this eight beam isn't showing like a eye profile it is quite 90 degree reverse because we have set all the beam so we need to rotate this eight beam for doing this i am selecting uh, is beam by control clicking uh, press uh, press control on your keyboard and now click each beam 
clicking click uh, selecting all the beams like this way okay after selecting all the beams now from here orientation move it to 90 degree because these beams are all automatically rotated so selecting 90 degree okay now go to home option now you can see all the beams are placed correctly now it's time to close the space claim geometry option now it's time to give all the load and fix the points so we are selecting the model geometry now go to edit now here from the geometry option in the beam now select the material the material is structure is still because it has been selected by default so in the mesh geometry we will uh, set the element size to 0 0.2 meter okay now it's time to fix the geometry now right click on static structure now insert now go to fix support uh, before doing the fix support you can generate the mesh if you want uh, so I am deleting this fix support first so let me show you how to generate mesh so click the generate mesh option it has been generated our mesh so now select the st static structural now right click on it now insert now go to fix support and fix all the point all the floor point for selecting those point select the vertex option and now select this this point now control click this point again control click the other point okay now press apply now you can see we have fixed our all the point now it's time for to give the load in our picture we can see it has a uniform load in here and uniform load of 50 kN per meter so I am selecting static structural now insert now select the line pressure in the line pressure we can give uniform load per unit distance so selecting the line pressure and defined by will the load is in negative y6 so we will select defined by component option so can we can give easily y component force so now selecting the geometry as it is edge the edge option has been selected automatically so click this line now control, control click other lines so i'm control clicking other lines all the seven line has been clicked uh, now click on apply now as load minus 50000 okay now our load has been applied now it's time to get our solution now go to insert now deformation now get the total deformation if we want to see the beam structure so solution so right click on it go to insert now select the beam tools now select beam tool option here you can see in the beam tool we have direct stress minimum combined stress maximum combined stress you can also select those manually in the beam result you can select axial force bending moment torsional moment as you want okay now i'm right click on it right click on it and now solve the geometry okay our geometry has been solved so for seeing the total deformation click on the total deformation this is our total deformation for now in the beam tools you can select the direct stress you can see all the direct stress here maximum combined stress and a minimum combined combined stress and maximum combined stress okay what if our little this building has a floor in here so let's create a surface and see how the surface will react about the reaction so again go to ANSYS workbench now go to space claim geometry software okay in our space claim geometry software we now will create this here and here a surface so for creating surface 
we, we are going to select the blend option and in the blend option select control click this full line okay it has created a surface okay uh, for creating a surface before we need to first set uh, i have control jet it because we need to change one dimension this layout and set this layout to true okay set this layout to true now press ok and again we will create another surface here so i am selecting this line control click other line also this one and this one and we have created another surface and from here in layout select the true option now press ok now we need to set the surface thickness so i am selecting here and for the thickness i am selecting 0 0.05 for mid plane and for another one i am selecting the surface thickness 0 0.05 meter okay all the surface thickness have been created now close the space claim and now again go to the model option so i am closing the space claim option now we have gone to our model option you can see that this function has not been updated so for updating so i am closing it again now now again click it to model double click on the model option now if you can see here is a another option called up steam data need to be reread would you like to read the up steam data? click on yes now we will get the updated version of, of our geometry okay here we can see our our model has been model uh, mechanical answer has been open in here we can see in the geometry we have a question mark because we did not specify the surface material so we need to first specify the surface material so i am selecting the surface and now assign the assign material so i am selecting static uh, structure is still for this one also that one you can select as you want uh, if you have a, another defined material so i'm selecting static structure for all the geometry now in the mesh option i am going to uh, make it 0 0.3 meter you can give as you want now right click on it now generate mesh now you can see our floor also has a mesh now in the fixed geometry it's okay it has been uh, selecting all the six vertices but in the line pressure we can see there is no solution so we need to put all the uh, uniform page uniform force force here so now select here now select the edge now control click all the line again so i'm control clicking all the lines okay now apply now in the solution menu this is our uh, solution we we have been created previously but we need to run this again so right click on it now go to solve and here you can see our solve is processing now click the total deformation option now here we can see how the floor also will react uh, along with the beam so you can set the floor material as you want you can set concrete if you have the your modulus option or poisson ratio you can add new material and you can use that also and direct stress minimum combined stress and maximum combined stress so that was all for today Th thank you for watching the simulation till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different